What's going on, everybody? So, got some golden auction stuff in. Before we get to that, I'll go to two cards I picked up off of Joey, a.k.a. the Bullpen, a.k.a. CBC, whatever you know him as. And then we'll go into, I think it's like six cards that came in from golden auctions. Alrighty. As you guys can see, somebody asked me about this. How come I never really do sponsorships? This is the only people that's ever really done much with me from the time I was a breaker. So, that's it. I rep BCW because I like them. Um, the lady before, I had a real good rep before she retired this past year. They're still good, don't get me wrong, but always was treated good. All right, so from Joey, up first, Kenny Pickett tie-dye patch. Rookie, of course, uh, select. I'm trying to see how I have to hold this because I redid my camera. There we go. Kind of look like a rookie there. Out of 25. Pretty cool piece. Don't worry, it has not from any specific game or event. Doesn't even say player worn. Shame on them. No wonder why they're doing bad. Up next, 2022 Padini Black, Drake London, rookie with the futuristic, uh, or the subset called futuristic, but it's the uh, Platinum 101 Nike swoosh. Came back as an 8. This Joey had this graded a while back, I'd say now. So, pretty cool just to have for display case. That's more like something for trade purposes down the road or sell. Alright, all my stuff from Golden finally came in from two weeks ago. Last week I only picked up two cards, so it won't be anything crazy. But, I really enjoy, and I'm not trying to pump Golden Auctions versus every other auction house out there. But, I really enjoy just knowing it's every Thursday night. Um, I can go on her ahead of time, see what's all going, make a big watch list or small watch list up, and just wait. Wait for cards that I want to have for my own collection for, you know, the day I say I'm done. Just get rid of it all. But it's, it's really not that bad. I mean, there was some lag for a while with shipping, and they're pretty much turning around where it's about, if you win that Thursday... You have till like the following, I think it's like Wednesday or Thursday to pay for it. And then they start shipping the following week. Where if, I think if you pay that Thursday night, Friday morning, you should be already put in the system. Now, unless the stuff's in PSA set registry, then it's a little bit quicker. <clears throat> so all this stuff was not in the registry. You guys saw the three. It did come back already. So up first, something you don't see a whole lot of. Tim Brown autos. This is... 2016 honors if i can get this to focus let me just go like this i think it's the lighting here there we go uh it's the hand numbered out 16 if you guys remember honors never been cut open shouldn't have been um but cool piece there i mean these are probably like 70 dollar cards i think still somewhere around there what's funny is when you start looking at this older stuff versus the newer stuff like if he had right now a honors card or Immaculate come out, I guarantee it'd be like $200. This older stuff, cheap. Don't believe me? Look at Nolan Ryan's early 2000 autos, and then look at like what Flawless NT do that's not a licensed product versus a licensed product back then. All right. There is football, Wildcat. I forgot to say I picked up football. This here, you know, Russell Wilson's dirt, dirt cheap. I can't really just say anything else about it. He's just dirt cheap. Was he a good quarterback at one time for him? Yeah, I could have went with his receivers and stuff. But this is 2012 Triple Threads. Let me get the focus back because the way the camera's angled. Okay, it's a PSA 8. I might just try to... Let me see if I can just maneuver this just a little bit better so we can see. So I think it's trying to pull the stuff over there. Yep. So, pretty cool. It's numbered out of 50. Um... You got the old relic or jersey piece into it, sticker auto out of it. I mean, an eight's still a good grade on this older stuff here. I wanted to see if it said. Let me see if I can see it up close here. That just says Tops Autograph Witnessed. I can't remember if it's. I thought somewhere on here. Oh, right here. It's on the side, this old stuff. Player Warren. Player Warren. Let's see if I can pull it up for you guys just to see the older stuff. It's next to, right below the three. So right there, Player Warren Relics. So if you ever come across this stuff in the older stuff, it was like written on there. It wasn't like a big statement on the back. All right, up next, Little Hockey. Malkin. 
SP Game Use, very hard to grade. Nate's a really good grade on this stuff, as you guys know. This here with the auto on the little uh, letter mark. Pretty cool. I bet one day I'll actually be able to spell Malkin out of one of these. Who knows? But Gino Machine. Oh, I guess this is actually supposed to be Gino, is what it's supposed to say. I figure it was Malkin. They have it in parentheses up there. So really, I just need G E N and O. There's 50 of them out there. Heck yeah, we might be able to do this one. See right there, Gino 2. Oops, sorry guys. I'm showing the wrong part right there. Yeah, let me go like this. Right there, Gino. So I might be able to look out for the four more or three other three. I can't even talk right. Three other ones. He's just spelled Gino. All right. Basketball followed by two PC footballs. And of course you guys know Malka I keep. This year I picked up some close to Cleveland. Um, Evan Mobley, rookie from Obsidian, numbered out of three. It's the white Contra or Contra, whatever they want to call it, with the uh, tag in the middle. There we go. Came back at eight, which expected on Obsidian. I mean, just one of them ones are harder to grade, two out of three. Pretty cool piece on to us. Let's see what this one says. Not associated with any specific player, game, or event. So it could be anybody. <laughs> this tag could be off of, like, some bum. I don't know. Kind of crazy how they have that worded on there. All right, last two, football. Football, 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 Wildcat. <laughs> I'm trying to think which way I want to go with these. I'm just going to go to the order they're in. The first one. Beckett 9-5. Look at these sick grades on here. If the surface wouldn't have gotten 8-5, could you just imagine what this would have came back with? But this is a printing plate, Troy Palomalu autograph. And no, I don't know how you get three tens and an 8-5 and it comes back 9-5. No idea. 9 on the auto on the back of it. That's only because he went off sticker down at the bottom. Right there, a little bit of a smear. But to find a plate with such a good grade onto it, I was kind of amazed. This was out of Prime Signatures back in the day. Prime Signatures. So pretty cool Steelers piece. You don't see a whole lot of Troy's autos out there, especially a printing plate getting a 9.5. A I got the autos a 9. I mean, th this would scare me to send anywhere else just to cross it over, even to try to get like a PSA 9 onto it. So, I'll just keep it the way it is. I mean, auto grade is what it is on the back. All right, finally, PC. Celestial. Kenny Pickett. Spectra RPA PSA 10. 10. So, Sammy Bai and Ross trying to grade or pick a 9 up. I just ponied up for this one. It was probably about... $200 under comps with what I paid for it roughly. I'd say $150 probably maybe under comps. So I paid a little bit stronger on this. This was uh, the Palomalu I think I got for a steal to be honest. That's my own opinion. This here probably about 70-75% of comps roughly around there. Malkin, dirt cheap probably like 40%. I think I was around 50-55 on the Wilson. This same thing about 50, 55%. Just so people always ask me where I'm looking at. But that's pretty much it with a little show and tell from Golden Auctions. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Two pieces from Joey come in. Uh, let's see here. Like I said, there's only two. Should be sometime hopefully next week come in from Golden. I don't think there's any card show that I'll be going to this weekend. The following weekend I'm set up at the Derby City one. Come by. Say hello if you're local. Uh... Pretty much it. I was just trying to think about anything else laying here. Kind of like a mini disaster from all the envelopes. But I will say this much. If you get multi-cards in from Golden, the packaging in the box is really good. They actually used, um, oh, like a, not styrofoam, uh, like a sponge in there. So you have the sponge and then they put your cards in the middle and sponge it on top. I kind of like that better than bubble wrap. I'm just wondering how much that stuff would uh, cost. Versus the other way. Alright, enough of me jibber jabbering. I'm out. Catch y'all later.